Hello and welcome to the Astronomy Network. This is a brand new channel that we've just launched here at Rother Valley Optics. So for this very first episode, we'll be talking about what's new in the world of astronomy and all the latest tech to look forward to in 2021. So to start things off, we've got a few good things to see this month. If we do get any clear skies, I would certainly look southwest from about 7 o'clock onwards. You've got Mars up at the moment, which is quite high. You've also got everyone's favourite, Orion Nebula. That's pretty good this time of year. And the Pleiades, also in that same sort of southwest area. Uh, they're going to be up around 7 o'clock and dip down the horizon around about 1 in the morning. We've also got Mercury and Saturn just starting to make an appearance uh, this month as well. They're going to be only visible for about 45 minutes just before sunrise each morning but as we get on into March each morning that position is going to get a bit higher. So moving on we've got a lot of tech and a lot of equipment coming into us over the next few weeks. We've got some brand new filters from Anthea. Now they've just released some free nanometer filters, an improvement over their previous 3.5 nanometers. Now these are very good for the UK market because that free nanometer is going to enable you to image very faint objects in heavily light polluted areas. So yeah, we are looking forward to those coming in. Also for any pro images, we've got a brand new off-axis guider from Pegasus. Now this is a motorised off-axis guider, so it's quite unique. Nice features include manual adjustment of your prism, but you can remotely control the focus of your guide camera via a stepper motor. Also, there's no need for any external motor controllers. It's a direct connection straight into the PC. So yeah, we are looking forward to getting those in. They are currently on the website, so if anyone wants all the technical details of those, you can read all the information on there. We've also got a couple of new mounts from Ioptron which have just landed with us this week. We've got the CEM26 and the GEM28. The CEM26 is a centre balance design. It's one of the smallest mounts that can handle such a heavy payload. It only weighs 10 pounds and you can put 26 pounds of weight on it. So we are looking forward to those. They've also now got Wi-Fi built in so you can get all your data all streamed across. If you want all the full details of that, links will be below and you can read all the technical information that you want. Also new to us this month we've got some brand new laser collimators from Farpoint. Now these lasers offer the smallest aperture laser than any other on the market. If you're interested in those there'll be links below and all the full details and technical information is all on the website if you want to go read about them. And finally we have got a brand new product from our very own range which is called the RVO Horizon 60mm and it's this that's been spinning around while I've been talking. This is built on the success of our previous 72 which we've had out for over a year now I believe and we've just released the brand new 60mm version so I'll be doing a little review of that right now. So here it is, the RVO Horizon 60mm. This is our latest imaging refractor. Now this is an ED doublet. It's been machined from one piece of aluminium. Inside we've got hand-selected FPL 53 glass. We've got focal length of 360mm and 60mm of aperture, which makes this scope an F6, so it's quite wide field. Right at the back you've got the focuser. It's a two inch, 10 to one CNC machined rack and pinion focuser. We've got a graduate draw tube with 90mm of travel. Right at the end of the draw tube you've got your rotator which just spins around like that, nice and simple. And then you've got your 2 inch and 1.25 inch eyepiece holders. Now we've got brass compression rings on both, uh, both on the 2 inch and the 1.25 inch. On top of the OTA you've got the tension adjustment for the draw tube, if you've got any heavy loads, any big cameras hanging off the back. You can nip that up there to add more tension and right on the bottom i'm not sure if you can see you've got the locking nut for the draw tube the dew shield itself is retractable nice and simple just pops in and out we've also got an rvo horizon logo on there on the cap as well we've also got the rvo logo underneath we've got quite a long dovetail bar for a scope of this size we've got plenty of long slots that have been milled out now this is especially good for getting balance you can mount your bolts anywhere you want. We've also got a universal Sinter style shoe on the side which will take the guide scope. Now this is the brand new guide scope we've got to go with it which is called the Horizon Guide. 
This has got a standard center style base. It's got 1.25 inch holder on the back. Now that'll take a standard guide camera, something like a 120 mini or 120 MCS. The uh, adjustment rings here are Delrin tipped as well. And that just slides into top of the scope, nice and simple and locks in with the two nuts there. Now right on the back as well, this whole assembly actually comes off and that's to put on the, the flattener. Now this is a one-to-one -one flattener, it doesn't give any reduction, it's been optically matched for this scope and all you need to do is very simple to fit it, you literally just unscrew this back piece here, that comes off and then this will just screw on in its place. So nice and simple, you've got M48 threads right at the back so, and we also sell camera adapters for Nikon, for Canon, so getting your camera on there is dead easy. And finally, we've got a nice case to go with it as well. This aluminium flight case, very heavy duty, very sturdy. It's all foam filled. You've got space in there for the OTA, for the flattener and for a few accessories as well. And that's pretty much everything that you get in the package. We're fully stocked on these at the moment. If you need any advice or any questions about this uh, new imaging refractor, just get in contact with us via the usual channels. Give us a call or drop us an email. We've got a lot of packages available. We've got them with iOptron mounts as well. We've got some imaging packages that we've just put together. So they're all gonna be on the screen now if you want to check out those packages. Full details on the website of all the spec and all the technical information if you want to read that as well. And that's it, there we go, the RVO Horizon 60. Latest scope from us and hopefully we'll be uh, seeing some of our customers imaging with this very soon. That's the end of our first video, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a little bit of everything this first one, a bit of a product recap on what new tech is coming out. Now future videos are going to be a little bit more focused and specific and what I mean is we'll be doing a product review of say a single product or a group of products from a brand. Now the best thing about this platform is that you can tell us what to make videos about. So comment below, we'll try our best to read every single comment and if you want to see a particular product reviewed or a hands-on demonstration let us know and we'll try our best to make a video about it. Also another bit of news, we are currently in the process of building a clean room. Now that clean room is going to house an interferometer and what that means is we can test all of our high-end scopes in-house. Now that clean room will also let us strip down lenses and do servicing down there as well. So if anyone's interested in that or wants any more details, give us a call or drop us an email. We will have some pictures and videos, hopefully, of the interferometer all set up pretty soon, and we'll be putting those on Facebook and this channel, hopefully. And finally, I'd like to thank our customers, Martin, Alex, and Darius, who submitted the free images for our segment earlier. Now, we actually asked our Facebook group to submit images for this first video and the response we got was amazing. I was overwhelmed by the quality and the amount of pictures that we got. So I thought I would end this first video with a little slideshow of some of those pictures. So that's me signing off. I hope you've enjoyed the first one and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.